This is Jason with Glitch in the System. Today we are going to work on the quiz I Got Bills from Udacity's front end web developer course from the JavaScript section. So for this quiz we need to use the map method to take the array of bill amounts shown below and create a second array of numbers called totals that shows the bill amounts with the 15% tip applied. So basically we're going to use map to create a copy but the copy is not going to be exact copy. It's going to be this 50.23 plus the 15% tip. So it'll have a new total. So each one of these will have a 15% tip applied to them. And also, we are going to need to add a couple things. We're going to have to add two fixed to, to make the decimal points um, to the right number of digits. <clears throat> and we're also going to need to uh, cast it to the right type of... Uh, data so I'll show you that when we get there but let's go ahead and grab the starter code so we got a variable called bills um, and they want us to use a variable called totals so let's go ahead and create that so totals equals so this is gonna be bills and then we want to use map so when you open map you can see that it uses a callback function so callback function or anonymous function and then all we care about right now is we want the value so we just need to give some some uh, argument name in there so I'll just call it bill and what are we gonna do so we're gonna have to do bill plus equals bill times 0.15 Okay, so what we're doing is the totals is, an, is going to be a new array that is mapped from the bills, and then this bill will be the value. So for each value in the bills array, we're going to do the value plus equals, so adding to that value uh, the whatever we get from bill times 0.15 so it's going to come up with a new number and it's going to cr create it in the totals array all right and we're going to need to return that so bill dot and remember we said we need to use two fixed actually let's just return it like like it is right now just so that we can see what happens and then console.log and then we want totals okay let's copy that jump down here and paste that in let's do a test run okay now you can see that we have the same value that we started with which doesn't look correct. So let's see if I can figure out what I did wrong. Bills.map bill plus equals bill times 0.15. Oh, I returned bills instead of bill. Okay, so I was returning the original array. So that was my problem. So let's try this again. Okay, so we have different numbers now. So 57, 21, 90, 988. So we can see that the numbers got bigger, but you can see that the decimal places, the number of digits after their decimal point is all crazy. So we need to do the two fixed. So this will give us how many decimal points we want after the, or how many digits we want after the decimal points. So let's just do this. Okay, I'm going to copy that. So we're going to say we want two digits after that decimal point. <clears throat> and I forgot my dot. Okay, so dot to over here. Okay, let's try it again. Still complaining. Let's see. 
unexpected token return. Oh, I have return in there twice. Test run. All right. So I have extra semicolon. So I have a copy paste error. All right. So now you can see that the decimal points are correct, or the digits after the decimal points are correct. But look, notice that we now have single quotes around it. So that means our return value is coming back as a string. So what we need to do is we need to cast this back to an, an, uh, a number. So we're going to use float, parse to a float number. Let's copy this paste that and it looks like I don't have a copy paste error this time let's do a test run all right so numbers look good and the quotation marks are gone let's submit this answer and that's a passing test all right uh, hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this until next time